In this video, I'm going to demonstrate to you how you can do web scraping of Amazon review and after that, perform sentiment analysis of each of the review. So let's get started. For the first part of it, I'm going to do web scraping of Amazon review. You need to put an extension by clicking on extension, add on, get add on. And you're going to be looking for something called import from web. Click on it and install this extension. I already installed the extension. I'm going to close this here. Next, you're going to have to get the URL right here. So go to your Amazon web page and let's say I want this particular product. All you have to do is have to scroll all the way down at the very bottom. And then you scroll up a bit and you will see a hyperlink called See All Review. Click on it, select the URL, and then you copy the URL. Next, you're going to have to paste the URL in here. And then you're going to have to use a formula called import from web. The first argument will be the URL. And the second argument would be review underscore rating, review underscore title, and review underscore body. Hold your shift key and select D1 like that. And then close parenthesis and hit enter. You can see you get all the reviews here. Now you can see you only have what's that about uh, six reviews. If you need more reviews, you're gonna have to go to page two. So all you have to do on your Amazon web page, you go all the way down again, and go next page, and then click on this URL and copy, and you paste it. And you can see if you look at the Amazon URL, this is page number two. Let's say if you go to page number three, if there's any page number three, you have guessed it. Is going to be called page number three so let's say if you have two urls if you want to pull all the reviews from these two url go back to your import from web over here the first argument you're going to select a2 and a3 like that and hit enter and now this time around you'll get slightly more reviews from two pages once that's done if you want to do sentiment analysis on this one here this is how i do it i'm going to reorganize my spreadsheet here so i can see everything together the first thing I'm going to have to do is to import the chat GPT extension go to extension go to add-on get add-on in here you're going to type chat GPT and you're going to click on chat GPT open AI in sheet click on it and you're going to install this extension here next you're going to have to get the chat GPT API by clicking on extension Chat GPT for Sheets and Doc. Click on Set API, and then you click on this hyperlink to open up OpenAI's web page to get your API key. Copy it, paste it in here, and after that, save the API. I already done mine, so I'm not gonna do that. So once that's done, now you're ready to do the sentiment analysis. The formula to do sentiment analysis in Chat GPT would be equal GPT classify sentiment in one word they have to be in double uh, quotes here the second argument on uh, gpt formula would be the comment itself which is d2 and the third argument we put it as zero and close parenthesis and if you hit enter what it does is that it goes and does the sentiment analysis and it tells you that this uh, review is actually a positive one you can copy the same review and place it on the next one and the next one and let's do it for all the rows there you have it so these are the sentiment analysis for each of these reviews I'll scroll through to see uh, how they fare